So let's see what energy is coming forward to you. What energy is yours for the taking is what I'm hearing. So we already know that it's abundance. We already know it's abundance waiting for you at the door. But let's get some more. What energy? Let's see. What energy is in your nearest future? What energy is in your nearest future? I halfway feel like spirit is like because my intention was to the energy of the person watching and then the energy that's surrounding them but it all tied in together so let's do the energy of if you have a person the energy of your person that you have or the energy of the person that's coming in for you or if you're not looking for a person, don't have a person, ain't studying a person, the energy that's coming forward to you as far as work, school, just life in general. The energy of what's coming forward. I'm hearing flow and balance. That feels like an important message. Flow and balance. <laughs> so, balance came out. All tied up came out. And anxiety came out. So, the energy that I'm feeling from this is if we go, if we, if we connect with this from a sense of what is coming into you, it feels like, okay, for the person that you are, if you're with someone, this feels like an energy of them caught in their minds they're, they're like overthinking a lot um and they just need to gain balance it feels like <clears throat> external problems like not within the relationship it feels like they just need to get balance within themselves and if you are not in a connection and this person is coming forward to you i feel like they are gaining balance at this moment from being so anxious and being so caught up in some past situation or something that um, gave them a lot of headache and heartache, they are now gaining balance in order to come forward to you. Now, if you ain't stood in the person, <laughs> you're single and not ready to mingle, then this feels like an energy of you gaining balance so that whatever you want can come in for you. I'm feeling an energy of, uh, I, I just heard bogged down. So maybe right now you feel it. Okay, so I'm getting a feeling of sometimes you feel balanced and sometimes you feel out of whack. So the message for you is to, if you want the things that you want to flow into you, to g gain your footing, don't allow for those experiences that you have, the moments in your day today, in your day to day, to affect you in such a grand way where it, if something bad happens and it's only meant to last for a moment, you let that carry out through your entire day. Because that's why sometimes you feel balanced and sometimes you feel off. You, you absorb too much. The key is to observe without absorb. Ab absorbing <laughs> so that the key is to just see what you need to see feel what you need to feel and then work past it and move past it don't hold on to it 
so that is the message or the energy the energy that i'm sensing but i do feel like this is, was at the bottom of the deck i do feel like whatever is coming in for you is something valuable in a sense of you know uh, a deeper sense like a spiritual sense not i do see finances as well i mean of course look at that look at all that i got money everywhere falling off the trees <laughs> so it's like there there's money coming in for some but for others there is just a new sense of self-value and then also paying attention to the things that you value as well so yeah let's see hmm so what a, 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 a final message that i'm getting is you create your own reality. And I know that when things are bad, don't nobody want to hear that shit. You all, people only want to hear that you create your own reality when it's good. You don't want to believe that you created fucked up shit for yourself when in all actuality you did. I mean, it's two sides to every coin. So I feel like you should focus more on thinking positive. It's like, don't think about what you don't have I, keep, I feel like you have heard this message before. Don't think about what you don't have and what, you, what you're missing, what you feel like you're lacking. Think about everything that you do have. Think about the other side of the coin. And that will help you to bring in all of the things that you desire. And I know it sounds like, yeah, right. But trust me when I tell you, when you change your perspective, when you change the way you think, everything changes you change the things around you change the, the situations you encounter changes you just have to just just control your thoughts you know mind over matter work on your solar plexus chakra your personal will um your, your drive you know the things that that move you that motivate you that get you going I'm getting the energies of uh, the sevens again, seven, seven, seven. I see uh, this person that's coming in for you. If you're single and you're mingling, this person that's coming in for you. First of all, he, she, shim is fine as hell. That's number one. I know that that's not important, but anyway, and I feel like whatever... So you've been healing, right? And there's still like some things in the background that you can you can kind of sense that there's something, but you don't know. You can't put your finger on it. This person is going to come in and help you go on. It's like they're going to go on and help you clean up whatever is left. You know, all that extra baggage that, that is hid under the rug or in the attic or the basement or something. <laughs> this person is going to come in and help you heal from that. Okay, so the okay, okay. So I was gonna say this feels like just a message for the singles, but it's also a message for people in a relationship. Well, this this message right now, I feel like okay. So spirit is also saying it's it's a personal thing, like a, an internal thing, because I'm seeing door to romance and blossoming abundance they're both on top of each other and then look at the numbers three 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 it's like one more two plus one is three it's like i'm i, I just heard i'm thinking of a master plan it's like creating a routine that's not so routine like a routine that has wiggle room to change some things out. There's like certain things that can't be changed. Something that needs to be consistent. But there's also other things that can be interchangeable. And I feel like if this is just, you know, for the self, this is about getting meditation, staying hydrated, getting some exercise, prayer, 
connecting with the self, doing some self-love, making, you know, doing that a routine, but changing up how you do it. And I feel like if this is a, a love, if this is a romantic interest that you guys are or or should figure out um, a way to, I'm hearing, write each other into your schedule. Maybe you guys are busy or maybe you've gotten so complacent that you, you know, you forget that we need romance. We need some spice, you know. So I'm, I'm feeling an energy of creating a date night even if it's just once a month if it starts off once a month but no further no greater length of time than a month it needs to something needs to become routine monthly or even less for you guys if especially if it seems like the spark is dying down or the flame is going out it's because you guys need to get back into the habit of showing love of being romantic with one another um i do I'm, I'm hearing something about a pregnancy because with blossoming abundance it feels like i'm i'm, I'm just hearing like a bundle of joy like a, a baby you know a child but it could also be a business you know you have to nurture and nourish a business just as you would have to do a baby but uh yeah i think that's it <laughs> i could go this could this could be a long reading because i see oh, i just see so much that can come in for you but it, it depends on you like it could go either way things can go down things can go left they can go right they can go up you see it's even a forward i mean things can go however you want for them to go you just have to be mindful you have to uh, pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to what you ingest spiritually, emotionally, physically. And it's like just being mindful, you know. So I pray that this message found you well. I pray that it made sense some, somewhere or, you know, resonated in some way. I thank you for showing up for me. But I thank you more for showing up for yourself, for being present, you know, being active in your spiritual journey. Um, I send you all love and light. Namaste. I will be one of the greatest. That is a vow. Yeah, that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous. Just being real. Yeah. I will be one of the greatest. That is a vow. Yeah, that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous. Just being real. Yeah.